On Friday, a federal judge in Seattle struck down Donald Trump's latest transgender troop ban for the United States military, saying that, first of all, the ban really doesn't stand up to any kind of legal muster, but more importantly, Donald Trump's rationale for you or putting this ban in place makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. See, originally the Trump administration, when they came out with their first transgender uh, uh, troop ban, said that they were doing it because the cost of medical care for these troops was just too high. We were spending too much money on them, so we're just going to ban them from ever being able to serve in the military. And then after that got struck down, they kind of tweaked it a little bit, used the same reasoning, and then tried to, you know, pass it off as if it were something new. The judge in this case said, yeah, there's really no distinction between the two different uh, transgender bans, and therefore neither of them uh, are constitutional. You cannot do this, the judge said. So here's what we're looking at at this point. First of all, let's address the cost issue that Donald Trump uh, was talking about, the whole reason for this allegedly, right? Well, as it turns out, Donald Trump's travel and vacation time for the last year um, is actually more expensive than what the United States military spends on a, in a year on transgender troops. So if it was really a cost issue, Donald Trump wouldn't be traveling all over the country to go play golf whenever the hell he feels like it so he can uh, pocket the profits off of that from the federal government. Yeah, that doesn't work, especially considering the fact that didn't we just increase the military's budget by like 70 or $80 billion on top of the hundreds of billions of dollars they already got? If there's one government agency or government division, department, whatever we wanna call it, that has enough money to cover stuff, it's the military. Under no circumstances does Donald Trump's reasoning hold up to reality. That actually seems to be the case with most everything Donald Trump does, but in this specific case, this transgender troop ban had nothing to do with money and everything to do with bigotry. That's what this was. That's why he did this. I guarantee you, and in fact, we do know that Mike Pence had a hand in crafting this transgender uh, military ban. This is all about uh, the religious right trying to make a statement that they do not like people who are different from them. They do not accept people who are different from them. And they're gonna do whatever they can to sneak that hatred and that bigotry into United States policy. And that is exactly what this transgender military ban is all about. And this judge in Seattle saw right through what the administration was trying to do and struck it down. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.